so excited to chat with you and to chat about Constellation. It is such a fantastic show. I just finished it this morning. What about this sort of genre bending story really caught your interest to be a part of it? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. When I read the script at first, because you can imagine, you see the complicated twists and turns in this story. When you see it on paper and how it moves from one place to the other and then back very quickly sometimes, it's hard to keep track of. And when I had to ask, I call Peter Harness, say, you know, explain this to me, explain this, explain that. Um, and, you know, my decision was made when it was M Michelle McLaren that asked me um, and then, you know, knew me. And I was all in. And I am so glad I did it. Um, it was a great ride. It was just good felt good. These were good people, too. They were good people. Good actors, yes. Great actors, yes. But good people. I love that. I'm so glad you got to have that uh, really touching experience on set. So you talked about the twists and turns the show takes. I can't get into spoilers, but given the unique nature of your character, what was it like balancing this sort of duality that you have as the show goes on? Well, one is driven, obsessed with trying to keep something, to get it back, the need, at the cost of human life, if necessary. The other is eaten with jealousy and envy and rage. Um, so one of the things for me is finding the humanity in, in both of them. Who did you find was the the easier one to find that humanity in? Well, the easier one for me, because there's kind of a kick-ass quality to it, and a kind of a cavalier attitude, a, a Jesus Christ, is, is Bud. Um, Henry is firm, dry handshake, straight ahead, by the book. And... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I just enjoyed both of them. I love it. I mean, they're both so compelling to watch, so it's fantastic. What is it like when you're in a scene and you have to imagine them both at the same moment uh, in the room together? How many times do you talk to yourself during the day? Often. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Because in reality, you're having a conversation with someone. Now, that's making it terribly simplistic, I know. But if I deal in the mirror with the motherfucker that's tearing me down, you know, whoa, oh, by the way, that's that's you, pal. <laughs> that guy that's tearing you down, that, 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 that's you. That's there he is. No, I think you deal with it. I think if I'm really serious about the answer, you deal with it as an absolutely other human being. It's another human being that you're having a conversation with. And you don't know how they're going to respond. And you will respond to what they offer you. Well, it's intriguing. It's an intriguing prospect to have to tackle, and you tackle it so well. So kudos to you on it. I see I'm almost out of time, so before I let you go, one of my first exposures to your work was uh, watching Beverly Hills Cop as a kid. And I, I still love looking back on your role in that movie. And now that they got a fourth one coming out, I'm curious what it's like for you looking back on that movie and seeing where the franchise has gone since. I've never seen two. I've never seen Beverly Hills Cop 2. I've never seen Beverly Hills Cop 3. Um, Marty Brest directed a really good film in Beverly Hills Cop 1. I got I got dead and that was it for me. <laughs> I don't blame you for skipping three. Three is pretty bad. I'll say that honestly, but uh, you were in the best one. We'll put it that way. Well, uh, and you know, it's I, I knew that I knew that and I didn't, you know, you can't. We could talk about all these remakes that they make and I'm telling you, Somebody needs to, I'll, get, I'll give you an idea. Girl with the dragon tattoo. 
who did, who brought that book out to make a film out of it, you know? Because it's just, and yes, it's a wonderful book. But I think there are probably a lot of gems out there that haven't been discovered, and it's easier to make Superman 32, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I hope that those ungems, or unfound gems get found, but I also really hope people dive into Constellation because I they got to see the incredible work you do. So, Jonathan, it's been an honor. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.